I'm the interview subject now, am I? Yeah. Are you going to look at me? Yep. Okay. In your own little world, everything can be very important. And everyone here had a life they thought was important, including that guy there. And he has become important to me, and his name's become famous, but I guess it shows. It makes me think a bit about mortality. You know, you can do these great things. You can have these monuments left to you, but what do these really mean? I guess his catalogue's a really nice monument, isn't it? I think I'd rather have 110 famous objects in space associated with me than one of these grand tombs that these other people have, so... He might have missed out in the uh, tombstone department, but I think he's got a good legacy. This is probably like the closest you've got to him. Um... Definitely. I don't think I'm going to get any closer. <laughs> what... That'd be quite a video. <laughs> Is that emotional? Because this morning we've just been thinking about the film and thinking, oh, let's film this and record this and let's find the grave and let's record something and is the sound okay? I haven't really thought about it. I haven't thought about the fact, like, whatever's left of this guy is, is in there, is in that container. I don't know what would be left of him, but... Um, so I haven't, I haven't taken the time to think about the, the emotional side of it yet. Is but this like a fitting end to the project? Well, you weren't listening because this isn't the end of the project. <laughs> but... I You're not surely going to do all 110? We are going to do all 110, definitely. Uh, it might, I think it might take us about two more years to do all 110 if we slow down the rate. Because we did about 40 to 50 in a year. And I know Mike and Paul and Megan and the others are really keen to finish it. So we will do all 110. This is just a... Uh, this is just a quick pit stop. This is a quick stop here to tell the man himself, although we have to slow down a bit for a while, we are going to finish your list. We are going to make all the videos. And the last thing is, you know um, who, the, who this cemetery is most famous for? Do you think that's... Uh, is it kind of belittling that this cemetery is most famous for that person? I mean, Jim Morrison's grave is here in the cemetery and it's a bit of a touristy thing. I mean, there are lots of famous people here that tourists come to see, and I guess, I guess for someone like me who prefers astronomy to rock music, I, I could be sniffy and say, why would people come and see a rock star when they could come and see a star of the stars? But uh, each to their own. I wouldn't like it if everyone was here and everyone knew about this. I like this is just a special place that a few geeks like me can come and have a look and tip our caps. Right, I'm off to find Jim Morrison. <laughs> <laughs> and he was very good at this. He was the first discoverer of uh, 13 comets, most of which are named after him, and the co-discoverer of many, many more.